I definitely have a I can do it attitude now. Um, I'm not gonna settle myself. If it's something that I really wanna do, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm Demaya Lawrence and I'm graduating from Indianapolis Metropolitan High School, class of 2023. I pretty much have a learning disability my whole life. So what number would I have to put in for X to make that be zero? But when I came to IndyMet, like that's when I like slowly started to see a change. IndyMet is a best fit school for students that may face barriers to education. And this is a school that is great for Demaya. I think at a bigger school, Demaya might have slipped through the cracks. My sophomore year, that's when COVID hit. So we had to go through Zoom. And when Zoom came, that's really when my grades declined because we were working from home. It just didn't work for me, especially me being the student that needs to be in person, face to face with the teacher. So that just like dropped all my grades. So when I did come back to school, my junior year, I didn't, I didn't get started on the right start. So Demaya really changed from this very fixed mindset to this growth oriented mindset around her end of her sophomore year, junior year. I think part of that was because of COVID when we were all out and we all had to do everything on our own. And just, I think realizing like, we don't have to do everything on our own. It's okay to ask for help. It might take me longer to understand something, but I can do it. Yep, absolutely. So if you multiply that angle by two, what would you get? My teachers taught me to not be afraid. They taught me to like speak up and they taught me like, it's okay to ask for help because that's what they're there for. What impresses me about Demaya, number one, her growth, how much she has grown since I first met her, how she's become a leader, how she's become an encourager, and really she's empowering the students that are around her and being a great role model for those underclassmen. And she has explained some of her barriers with some of the students around and that allows them to say, hey, if Demaya can do this, I know I can do it. Freshman year to now, I would say Demaya is very much more mature and she is very, very determined. So for this year, she wanted to do cheer. She did cheer. Everything that Demaya said she wanted to do, she did it. My friends and I, we really wanted to like start a cheer team. I talked to our instructor that's in charge of athletic stuff and we like let him know this is something we really want to do and we, we was willing to like work for it, do anything we need to do to get this started. And I was glad that all the girls were involved and I'm proud of that. So Demaya was a member of the PAC, which is our Puma Advisory Council. It's kind of like student council. And we didn't have formal roles, but if we did, she would definitely have been the president. There were days that I couldn't be there and I would ask her to lead the meeting. I would say, okay, these are the things we need to get done. When I came back, not only were those things done, but like 10 more things. I got involved in the Student Advisory Council because I love planning things and we we're able to like share our ideas and what we want to see. And it has brought me out of my shell a lot. I see greatness for Demaya. She already is starting to get a CNA job. She already has plans in motion. She's already doing things to better herself, even as she's still in school. So I decided to get my CNA certification because I really enjoy helping people and I know it's going to get me to other pathways because I, I want to stay in the medical field. The future holds for Demaya whatever Demaya wants. Demaya is someone who is so motivated, so hardworking. Whatever she wants to do, she will always be successful. My hopes for the future is that I'm where I want to be. 